What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Raiding Rivers here on the channel. Today, we have made our way back up north near Logan. and We are fishing the Blacksmith Fork River. I know that is a mouthful, but I am beyond excited. Today, we're solo. Nobody, just me. The fall colors are out in full force. It's absolutely beautiful out today. And the goal is to catch some fish, show you guys what this river holds, and give it a rating from one to 50 based on five qualities. Those qualities being accessibility, pressure, fish diversity, overall fishing quality score, and scenery. I am beyond excited to be up here. I do not know anything about this river other than it was recommended on my last video. Two people commented, hey, you should go up to the Blacksmith Fork. Thank you guys for commenting. And if you guys have another river that I should go to, comment that one below as well. We're here, like I said, Blacksmith Fork. Super excited. I don't know what kind of fish live in this river. However, we are near the Logan, so I would assume it's very similar. Probably got some browns, probably got some cutties, and maybe some rainbows scattered in there as well. There is some amazing looking water where I currently am, and we're gonna try to get some fish in the net for you guys today. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Should be an absolutely insane day. Let's get it. This might be the last day that hoppers are even an option for fishing. And last time I was up at the Logan, the Morse hopper absolutely annihilated it. So I got a Morse hopper on top. And you already know we're fishing hopper, dropper. Got just like a, kind of like a rainbow warrior on top, except it's more like silvery blue. Just kind of seeing what they might be into. Super, super excited. This water looks unbelievable. Like there could be so many fish in here. So. First cast of the blacksmith fork. And we are fishing. Like I said, could be a little late in the year for hoppers, but hoping it's not. I'm sure we'll find out pretty quick. Oh man, it might be too late for hoppers. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. Guys, I thought I was filming. But I wasn't, but I just got smashed on the hopper. So I was literally just thinking like, oh man, this isn't, it's not a hopper kind of day, but set too quick, got a little antsy, but it's good news. Fish are still eating hoppers. That is the best news you could have told me all day. Look at this pool. This is unreal. Yeah, well, right when I was moving up, I don't know if you guys could see that. You probably should be able to see that. Little brown trout right there. Just hugging the bottom. Let's look at let's watch him for a little bit, see if he eats something. He's not opening his mouth or anything, so that's weird. Doesn't care about me being here either. Probably tells me this gets fish quite a bit, but that's okay. Okay, got a super shiny copper john on the bottom with a big old silver bead head, which is kind of sweet. PMX has been pretty trusty recently, so here we are with the PMX. I think a fish tried to eat it. I think another fish tried to eat it. Oh, another fish definitely tried to eat it. I'm pulling it out too early. No way, dude. There's a fish that's trailing this thing like a freaking streamer, dude. There we go. Had one on the dropper. Oh. Yeah. No, I had one. It was ch it chased the, the, the uh, dropper here. That was weird. There we go. Bottom fly. Look at no, dang it. I think it was just a brown trout. Dang it, just little dinks too, man. Oh, just missed a really nice fish, man. Shoot, on the hopper, or on the PMX, I should say. Wow, this is not such a lot of fish. I just haven't been able to get them to fully commit, man. All right, guys, well, I see so many fish in this back eddy right here. Oh, my gosh. One just followed it for, like, 30 seconds. Oh, man, this has not been going well. There's so many fish right here. I just can't seem to hook them. This is what's going to happen. One more switch before we uh, leave the spot. All right. A big old, got an olive streamer on the back here. Pretty large, but uh, I'm just going to check it in this eddy. So disappointing right now, but I'm gonna keep moving. Just fishing here. Next spot, here we go.
gone. Not hooked well at all. Brown trout in the net. No skunk today, everybody. I swear if I'm not filming, I'm filming. Little brown here on the blacksmith, eh? Nothing wrong. It's a beautiful brown trout. It's super healthy. Oh my gosh, look at that. Beautiful. Fall colors. Incredible. He's back. What an absolute battle it's been to get one. Oh. That's got some freaking girth to it, guys. I haven't even seen it yet. Got one on. Feels pretty good. What do we got? What do we got? Another brown? Another brown trout. Another brown, guys. How many? 10 inches? Come on, first cast in that new little section I'm at here. Kind of moved up so I can hit that water that's actually moving downstream. All this water to the right of me here is all moving kind of back upstream. It's a little bit harder to. A little bit harder to make it work, but hey, we're happy with another fish. Just trying to get it in that moving current. Hopefully that'll do it right there. Oh, geez, that one's bigger. I know I said that last time and it was. This one might be a cutty here, guys. Definitely got some weight to it. Oh, I think it's a rainbow. Oh, and we'll never know. Dang it. We'll never know, guys. I think that was a rainbow. I was getting ready to net the thing. I just pulled it right out. It's just flopping around too much. See what we can do. Not as easy as, as, easy as a cat of a cast, but definitely not too bad. First cast, little guy. First cast almost immediately, guys. Oh my. This is just a thick, thick old brown trout. Wow. That is a thick fish, man. Fish number three, guys. Another browner. Nice red tail on there. That's sick. He's back. The sun will come out. Right now. So there's actually a fish right, right in front of this rock right there, there's a fish, and I don't know what it is. Which makes me happy. Get a little bow and arrow cast in here. Hopefully, hopefully, honestly, pick that exact fish out. Yeah, got one. Got him, got him, got him. No way. Let's go, guys. It's like a brownie. Pretty good one too. Look at that, guys. Oh, that was a fish drop, but uh, hey, that's four. That was a sweet little spot. Tough cast, really got it done. They are on the nymphs today. I wonder if that spooked, uh, spooked his buddy that I was looking at. Got one. Wow. Can't believe how many fish I pulled out of that little hole. This one looks like another brownie. This will be fish number five. If I get him in the net, which I can. Hey guys, fish number five. Oh dude, he's a long, like skinny, dark fish. He's ready to make some little babies. All right. So that's five fish, five brown trout. And now I, I will say, at some of the spots I've been fishing here, there's been signs that say, within limit keep the trout uh only issue is i don't eat trout so um if i did i would uh 100 be taking these fish legally but like i said i don't really eat trout so let's move up oh i took the hopper took the pmx Sick. Super subtle take for this little brownie. Just a healthy friggin' hog of a little fish. Look at how fat that thing is. Oh my gosh. There you go. All right, PMX take. Ho oh, ho, baby. Been waiting for that all day. One more spot. Look at that. 
I have been rewarded. Wow, man, these fish here are healthy and beautiful. Look at that. Orange is incredible. Back she goes. All right, now we're calling it. Good run, boys. Good run. Holy brown trout. All right, all right, all right. Let's have ourselves a little chat here, shall we, people? We are done fishing the Blacksmith Fork River up near Logan, Utah. This was actually a really, really good time, especially for my first time out on this river. Seven fish in the net, I will not complain at all. Probably missed missed for sure two on the hopper, maybe three, and then missed probably three or four on the nymph. So as far as, you know, performance-wise, I did pretty good, if I do say so myself. <laughs> but let's go right into those five categories that are going to make up the total of 50 points and give this a overall score. Okay, so we're gonna get right into the first category. We're gonna start off with scenery. It was absolutely fantastic up here. The road is slightly close to the river, there was a couple spots where you could definitely get away from the road. However, you can't get that far away from it, but it's not gonna take away from the absolutely stunning views that you're gonna see up here uh, in this canyon. So as far as scenery goes, we're going to give it a seven out of 10. The next category is going to be diversity of species. And honestly, I only caught brown trout. I had a rainbow on briefly and almost net it. It was actually probably, it would have been the biggest fish of the day. However, I didn't net it, but it was a rainbow. I assume that there are cutthroat, just because we're so close to the Logan and the Logan is so known for there being cutthroat trout. However, I didn't see any. I only saw one rainbow and I caught a ton of browns. And in addition to that, some of the spots that I was pulling off and parking at had signs that said, essentially take the brown trout, there's too many of them, which leads me to believe that uh, they're probably taking a lot of the food and a lot of the habitat that would be there for natural cutthroat um, and more native fish. So as far as diversity of species, just based on what I think I know and based off what I saw today, I'm gonna to give diversities of species a six. Oh. The next category is going to be accessibility. This is a very long canyon and the river actually runs for quite some time. However, unlike the Logan River, there's a lot more private property on the blacksmith fork a lot of sections of the river that look really really good are actually not fishable there's no trespassing signs up all over the place which is pretty typical for rivers in utah and i totally understand that there is definitely less water that is fishable that is totally okay that is just the way that it is but where you can fish the water is stunning it's fantastic um and the access to the river is great the trails down to the water are great and so for accessibility i'm going to give it a six out of ten Next category is going to be pressure. Uh, honestly, on my way down here, literally as I was just talking, it was the first time I actually saw another person fishing. There might have been a couple people on different pull-offs. However, I haven't seen that many people. I assume because this is a little bit out of the way from a major town, whether it's Logan or Ogden or Salt Lake City, this one's even further from Logan than the Logan River itself. So because of that, I assume that the pressure is a little bit lax and it's a little bit more chill i could be completely wrong and i told you that there's a lot of private property but there are quite a few pull-offs that you can use so as far as a pressure rating i think i'm going to go ahead and give it a seven out of ten i think this is a pretty difficult river to fish so people who are just trying to learn how to fish they're going to go to a more known and a more uh maybe beginner friendly river it's definitely tight you definitely have to be really precise in a cast so uh seven out of ten that's what i give it for pressure and the final category, I'm going to give it an overall fishing score. This was a really good first day. Seven fish on a brand new river during a time of year that can be really difficult. This kind of swing season in between, in between when they're gorging on dry flies and when it's getting a little bit colder and those dry flies start to die off. Didn't catch any on streamer. Caught one on a hopper and then all the rest were on nymphs. So I think I did really well. I think if I were to come up here more, I would be able to find out a pattern and really, really get into fish up here. 
and I think just based off the numbers of fish I saw, I saw a ridiculous amount of fish. And based off that, I'm gonna give the fishing quality a seven out of 10. Okay, if we add all the five categories together, we are gonna come up with a total rated score of, drum roll please, 33 out of 50. That is fantastic. Pop the leaderboard up there. That is going to be second place out of the four rivers we have done so far that is a really fair score i think this is a really underrated river i'm not telling you you should come up here because i bet the locals would absolutely kill me however if you guys want to get out and fish a brand new river that has some really quality fishing this is definitely an option that i would recommend it's a beautiful place fishing's great maybe you'll catch yourself a giant brown trout maybe a giant rainbow trout maybe a giant cutthroat if they're in here i don't really know however that's going to conclude the video 33 for the blacksmith fork river and if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel this has been an absolutely fantastic time filming these rating rivers videos and this is not going to be the last one that i do i'm probably going to be doing these for years to come uh i travel all over the country and hopefully i can do these in other states than just utah but yeah subscribe to the channel comment to river if you want me to fish somewhere and i will catch you guys in the next one later